I am so excited to give you some pocket coaching as we go throughout our weeks, especially in the Law Firm Admin Bootcamp and Academy. So this week, uh, we talked about an exercise that the team members are working on is time chunking and learning how to run your day and being able to plan your work and work your plan. And today came up in our open coaching and growing hours to say, okay, I'm doing great, but, um, and here's some of the notes that I got from the team members. I'm just going to read them from you, for you. So these are notes we just got fresh out of coaching and growing hours. Said so team, how are you doing with planning your work and working your plan? Especially so you can meet your uh, billable hour requirement every single day. So you can serve the file and make sure you're leading and managing the case management. And what I hear, great, I'm getting into the routine, but I'm having trouble sticking with it. I'm making progress, but, and there were all these wins that were completely deflated with the but. And here's what I love about our Thursday coaching hour for the team members, because when we kind of broke that down, I said, well, let's talk about where you team member are not sticking to it. So walk me through the fact pattern. And I had time to work on this Smith case to get ready um, for, um, I planned on reviewing discovery to prep so the attorneys can show up totally prepared. I had two hours blocked out for that and I got derailed because we had a hearing pop up and we had the holiday and what have you. So we were down to working business days. I'm like, all right, time out, time out, time out. So you stepped in, you helped out, you helped the attorneys, you got everyone prepared and you also exceeded today's billy, billable hours, right? Okay, so the time that you have blocked out to be able to work on that today, now we're getting off of open coaching and growing hours. What are you doing next? So like, oh, I just slid that time in there. I moved the appointment down here. So I've already met my billable hour requirements today. I'm going to exceed them. And then we talked about how to over communicate with the team. So you got derailed. So when did you get derailed this morning? Then we talked about when your day doesn't look like you had planned. You work in law firms. We are in the business of profitability. We plan our work and we work our plan and just having the discernment, having the language, having the wherewithal to really decide where you're spending your time. Because by and large, our days are not going to look perfectly how we have planned. The goal is to have CEO communication. The goal is to clarify and verify. The goal is to remind the attorney. So I love this example that came up today. All right, talk to me now about when your day doesn't look the way that you had planned. All right, so the next part is I was scheduled to go to the hearing with the attorney and the attorney had said to me, because me jumping in this morning and spending extra time on the prep and um, leading that and getting everyone prepared, the attorney said to me, listen, you don't need to go to the hearing. I know you were the paralegal that was you were going to go with me, but I want you to be able to go st stay here and work on that discovery review and reviewing discovery and getting all that prepared for the hearing that guess what? It's not tomorrow. It's next week, which is super exciting because we're already project managing and planning and, and really operating like a project manager as a paralegal. What I loved about this conversation is that maybe you're not working team members with an aware attorney. Maybe your attorney's so head down, head in the soup and just trying to get ready for their next activity. Here's my drive-by pocket coaching for you all as team members. Your attorney is begging for you to be able to calendar and plan your work and time manage and chunk out your time. One of my favorite books out there right now that I see so many attorneys all over social media talking about is Buy Back Your Time. A phenomenal book for another drive-by coaching to go get that and read it both as team member and as the attorney, because we implement a lot of those principles into the law firm admin bootcamp and academy. But what if your attorney doesn't have the wherewithal? Maybe they're just in the thick of the day in the soup and all that. Well, so they're in it, they're in it, they're in it, they're in it. 
And so your attorney's in it, right? And you, as a CEO mindset, right down to the receptionist, paralegal, legal assistant, what have you, you're going to go to your attorney and you know you're supposed to go to the hearing. That was the plan. But if you can take the power of the pause, you can take a moment and just say, okay, attorney, real quick, here's the hearing. Here's how this is going to go. Here's everything you have in preparation, what have you. I just want to clarify and verify. I got taken off uh, 3.5 hours today to work on this. I'm okay with it. Not complaining, shaming, blaming, none of that. Um, I just want to clarify. Do you want me to go to the hearing? That was, I was scheduled. That's my intention for today. Or would you rather that I stay back and work on this case and get it to a place of X, Y, and Z here? And here's a return on investment for the associate attorneys walking into you know, discovery, mediation, what have you with this file. And this is what I can do with that time if I'm not sitting at the hearing for you, which would you prefer? So if you can over communicate with your attorney, don't wait for your attorney to have to have that wherewithal, to have that awareness. You all know what's on deck. You know what your priorities are, especially if you're doing your daily huddle. You're talking about your top three for today. You're talking about your number one home run and you're reviewing your top three from yesterday, your number one home run from yesterday and where you were, got jammed up, stuck, what have you. So we can make two millimeter shift, two millimeter business, not emotional shifts in real time. So. If your team is not in the law firm admin boot camp, give them to me. Give them to me so I can train them on how to become legal leaders, leading legal leaders. For those of you that are in the academy, please make sure, please make sure you show up for open coaching and growing hours. We had a phenomenal group there today. We made two millimeter shifts. We got your head out of the gutter where you're beating yourself up, where you're living in overwhelm, where you feel like you're not a difference maker or a value creator and made those two millimeter shifts on how to communicate with your attorney as CEO. So keep up the great work. Keep showing up with your problems, with your breakdowns, so we can create breakthroughs in real time to know that you as a legal admin, whether you're a receptionist, law clerk, intern, in-state, overseas, date side, whatever it might be, we can get you the legal leadership that you deserve and that your attorney is investing in a gift for you for your personal and professional development. All right, keep going.